Hey everyone, I'm Armazir and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 as the Belgium and the Netherlands with Kelvin. Hello! It's 1939 now, we're getting closer. Yeah. Something is actually going to happen soon. <laughs> yeah. This is, uh, this is gonna be, uh, soon. No one has ever been excited about having Germany to declaring war on them. <laughs> Yeah, well, Na Nazi I'm Germany is going to attack us! Yay! Yay! <laughs> I mean, I'm actually doing all right though. I'm up to 14.4 uh, guns a day. Okay. Artillery. I uh, I think I'll be ready in time. Well, you better be. Yeah. Logistics. Tell me info. This shortage will last for 211 days, and it's counting down in increments of two. So. I, I would guess four or five months. I'll be ready. I'll be ready pretty much a whole uh, whole six months early. <laughs> Man, I need to work on my accuracy. Yeah. I could have cut it way closer. Oh, and speaking of which, did you know Nationalist Spain is still alive? Oh, is it? <laughs> yeah, apparently it is. Wow. I I'm actually legitimately impressed. It's holding. But not for much longer, I don't think so. Yeah. Hazard deterrence, I get it today. The fate of Czechoslovakia. Okay, give me my steel bag, thanks. <laughs> don't worry, I'll start buying your steel. Now you won't lose that on the civilian factory. I'm not gonna lie, my biggest concern actually is my lack of support equipment. Well, I got 721 surplus support equipment right now. Yeah. I'm not down much. I like, I, I only need 105, but it's just, I don't have factories to spare for it. Right. So, so I've got one whole factory working on it. It's like, oh dear. Okay, I don't think I'm going to prioritize infantry equipment as much. I need to get my artillery faster. Yeah, like I have 15 factories working on improved artillery and two working on infantry equipment. Yeah, I mean, at least we got infantry equipment one. Yeah, we at least have something for them to shoot with. <laughs> yeah. You know, you know what? A shitty gun is a lot better than no gun. Indeed. A better gun's still better than a shitty gun, but... True. You know, I, I suppose Strong it stands, uh, you know... Rule of diminishing returns. Hmm. Yeah, my shortage is down only 160 days. All right. Poland is so going to get direct. Oh, yeah. Poland screwed. Especially when they started their own faction. That's probably the hardest route for Poland. I mean, you want to know what's really uh, guaranteeing that they're screwed? Yeah. They still haven't taken Estonia. Yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> they want to puppet them. No, no. The, as in, they can't. They have failed to win the war against Estonia. Yeah, I know, but I mean, their focus is to puppet them. Yeah. Uh, I'm just saying, Pol Poland can't even beat up Estonia. Yep, not to mention Germany. Yeah. And really, the key to win a defensive war against Germany, or really any kind of war against Germany, is to take Königsberg quickly. There's no DA there's no way the AI can do that. Yeah. It's just uh, not smart enough. Yeah, you need to close the fronts. So you want to try, you know, like, get yeah. close off Czechoslovakia, and it's close like, off... No matter what your strategy is as Poland, you have to take Königsberg fast, as soon as the war with Germany starts. Otherwise, yeah. they will start flooding in with divisions. Yeah. The truth. All right.
I don't think I'll actually need this many military factories as I'm building, but... Oh well, we'll keep building them until I have enough. Want to buy a more useful general. Yeah. <laughs> At least my guy's skill 4, so I can't complain about that. Yeah, my guy is skill 4 as well, but he has two completely worthless skills for me. Yeah. I mean, I get the ability to attack forts easy. <laughs> I've, I'm sure that'll come in. <laughs> yeah. When we'll have to retake the Marching Dot line from Germany. Yeah, pretty much. Alright. How much reserves do I have of infantry equipment? One. 13,000. Okay, so if it comes to it, I can train some extra divisions. That's good to know. I think I'll get enough artillery, though. I already got 1,700 out of 2,200. Yeah. In fact, I might even be able to add more artillery battalions. The only problem is that they use 500 manpower, and I got zero manpower. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't want to go overboard with that, because I just won't have the manpower for that. Yeah. Right now I got four artillery divisions. Limited conscription. And nine okay. infantry. Yeah, I'm filling out here. Alright, limited conscription. So I actually have 98,000 manpower in reserve. Okay. Good. Thank you, conscription. Right. Yeah, I mean, I'm producing, you know, 18 guns a day, just over, but... I'm producing 12. Well, 13 yeah. almost. I'll be, uh, apparently my shortage is 104 days, so... I got 11% penalty from lack of resources. Yeah, you can reorder your production lines. Yeah, yeah, so they, I know, it is on top. I just don't have enough tungsten. Oh. Ah, yes. And I don't really want to buy, like, two or three, because you buy in multiples of eight. Well, a uh, full 15 factory line requires 15 tungsten. Yeah. So you don't lose much if you buy uh, two rounds of tungsten. Right, but I don't really have enough factories to get all 15. Yeah. Like I said, artillery is about the only thing I'm producing right now. It's not much else. Hey, let's figure out why you don't have enough support equipment then. <laughs> well, I... Yeah, that's If you're not why. producing anything else. I've been running <laughs> a support equipment production line constantly. With just one factory most of the time, but still, it adds up. It does. It does. Yeah, definitely probably should have got some more support equipment rather than stockpiling so much infantry equipment in one. I didn't have enough forward thinking for that, though. Alright. Almost worth it for me to buy some more steel. I think I ran out of obvious things to spend my political power on. <laughs> yeah. 
It's not like we need ship designer, aircraft designer, or a tank designer ever. Yeah. I've got everyone who on my military staff who's going to help me. I mean, that's not true. I have a cavalry guy. I mean, I could build some cavalry. I can get minus 8% division attrition army logistics guy. And that's about it. Mm. I could also just save up my political power, but I'm up to 300. Yeah. So I might as well get the army logistics guy. So it, it's been another five months. Yeah. And? Well, po Poland still hasn't taken Estonia. <laughs> yeah, Poland is screwed. <laughs> I won't be surprised if they are still at war with Estonia when Germany attacks them. In fact, they almost definitely will be. They only yeah, got three months point. left. Yeah. <laughs> they are this screwed. Is... Wow. Oh. Um... Goodbye, Poland. It's been nice knowing you. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I'm just, I, I just have trouble believing that it's so bad that it can't take Estonia. Yeah. I wonder what the heck they are doing, actually. Mm. Man, they are so screwed. Yeah. Oh, that's why they can't. Why? They never called in Latvia. Oh, okay. They don't actually have military access there. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah, that would explain it. <laughs> they never actually called Latvia into the war. Smart. Very smart. Go, Poland. Hey, it's your country. <laughs> well, what can I say? It's not very smart. Uh. Hmm. Alright, I'm a thousand artillery guns short. Only 50 uh, support equipment short, I think I'll be fine. I actually. already got all the artillery I need. Well, that was quick. Time to switch production to infantry equipment too. I'm gonna go to free trade. Okay. And it makes sense for you, because you have a million resources. Well, no. It, I'm like, I'm not where you're selling all my rubber. I'm hoping to get some extra oil sales, though. Okay. That, that's what I'm really hoping for. But you also have a lot of oil, don't you? Well, yeah, that's the thing, right? Yeah. Like, that, that's what I'm hoping to sell. I, I have now uh, 16 more oil up for trade. Oh, on the market. I'm hoping that's enough. Norway, Sweden, France are all buying. Now, if only I had more manpower, I could improve my divisions. Yeah. The other reason I kind of go for free trade is because it does actually increase your factory output and your research speed, as well as construction speed. So. Yeah. If you can bear it, free trade's pretty good. The only bad part is that you can't decide which resources will be put up for a trade. Yeah. Which is a little bit silly because, I mean, in real life, it's not like you have no control over your strategic resources as a democracy. What the heck? Yeah. Especially when you know a war is coming. Anyway, so yeah, 11 days for me to build a fort, if you're interested. Okay, no. not bad. Yeah. So I can build three forts a month. We have six months, that's 18 forts. It's not bad. So I'll, I'll easily be hitting, like, level seven forts. Yeah, that should be enough, I think. Yeah. Like, that's the thing. I I was being ambitious when I joked about with ten level level ten forts. And I mean, since we're not playing with historical AI focuses, we don't actually know how early or how late Germany is going to attack us. Well, uh, I can make an educated guess. Yeah. Um, go ahead. Basically, then. they will go for Danzig or war. Yep. Eventually, uh, probably soon, because this should be about the time when they can do it. Yeah. They've reasserted their eastern claims, I think. Have they? We can check. Danzig. It is not yet claimed by Germany. So they are... At, they have not yet reasserted their eastern claims. So we'll find out with that. 
When uh, Germany demands Mamel, that means they're 70 days from war with Poland. Yeah. Which puts us roughly 70 to 140 days from war with France. Which gives us... Just a little more time than that. Really? Uh, I don't know how long it is. Yeah, around the magic, nothing was 70 days. So, seven, so we have probably about 210 days from when they take Mamel. Right. Okay. We will go to war in 210 days. There you go. Ask and thou shall receive... Oh, the default focus tree actually has 25 navy experience it can get from the tree. I That's had right. massive problems getting any kind of navy experience at all. Even yep. with a lot of submarines going on search and destroy. Yeah. It's so hard. Yeah, the, the, apparently your uh, Polish tree doesn't. Alright, so you getting war, ready for war in 200 days, Marbzir? Probably. Good. I should I finish well. my forts, no problem. Yeah. I got level 7 in one of the provinces near Luxembourg, and I'm working on the other now. Yeah. I'm sort of reducing my fort effort in the south because of all the rivers. Right. It's not a big deal. Mostly going to be focusing on the wide open plains in the north. I got the maxed entrenchment bonus. Hmm. Germany never did the West Wall. The German troops seem to be gone from our border. I think that means something. <laughs> yeah, I think that means they're going to oh, go to... foreign claim on Danzig. Yep, there's a foreign claim there now. German claim. Yeah, yeah. As I said, when they, uh, when they reassert their eastern claims, you can tell they've done it because they claim a mel. Yeah. So that means they're now justifying war on Poland. Goodbye, Poland. And yeah, the United Kingdom is improving relations with Poland. Uh, I think you need to do a little more than that, United Kingdom. How about a guarantee of independence? <laughs> yeah. You know? I, I feel like no, that might help. Ain't nobody got time for that. Yeah, apparently. Maybe they don't actually guarantee independence if Poland starts their own faction. They don't. So Poland I don't is... think you can actually guarantee faction members. Yeah, so Poland is legit screwed right now. Yeah. Yeah, guarantee independence. Uh, yeah. We are not a member of their faction. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, you cannot guarantee independence of people in other factions. Okay. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah. Probably to prevent those uh, lovely situations that we've run into on occasion in Hearts of Iron 3, where Germany would be at war with the rest of the Axis. All right. <laughs> yeah, because that makes sense. Yeah. Germany is a member of the Axis. Germany is at war with everybody in the Axis. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay then. Scroll logic. Yeah, there. I need 2,000 more manpower before I actually start getting some surplus. Yeah, that's, uh, that's not good. I only get like 269 recruitable population per month. Yeah. Uh, mine is 303, so it's not much better. Yeah. How's your gun production? Out of curiosity. 22. Mm -hmm. I'm and climbing. getting 37. Mm -hmm. 37 artillery? No, 37 uh, like guns for infantry. Infantry oh. equipment. I I'm producing like 9 guns. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm done with artillery. Yeah. For now. 
Just building up a stockpile. Yeah. I need 64 artillery. Woohoo, I'm producing a whole one support equipment a day now. Okay. <laughs> That's it's not like I need much, so every little bit helps. I wish I could get my own friggin' steel though. Seriously. Yeah. That would be kinda nice. Man. Oh my, free trade finally paid off. Yeah? France is buying a little more of my oil. I get an extra civilian factory. Nice. That means I can buy some more steel. Not from me. <laughs> I'm already buying all of your steel. <laughs> that means... Have you checked your trade friggin' exports? Yeah. Oh yeah, 24 out of 24 to the Netherlands. You're welcome. <laughs> But I could use steel more than the civilian factories from it right now. Yeah. Well, not anymore because I'm already importing some, but... Yeah. B basically, me giving you civilian factories means you now have civilian factories to import steel with. Yeah, true. It's way better than having your uh, resources sit untouched. Mm-hmm. You know, if we lose, it's going to be because of manpower. Nah, I mean, we're only on friggin' like limited conscription. We have a lot of manpower loss we can go through once we're right, at war. Right, but procurement. manpower is our bottleneck for war preparations. This is true, to a degree, I guess. I mean, it's not really mine. Um. Second Vienna award. All right, so that means that grants us an extra 70 days of reprieve. Yep. Because that means that wasn't war with Poland. Good news. I should finish overwhelming firepower doctrine. No, actually, I'm about... Yep, I just finished it right now. Nice. Yeah, I'm just starting on uh, centralized fire control. Okay. Wow, yeah, you're way ahead of me then. Yep. And I still have a doctrine bonus to go through, so yeah, that's going to be done super quick. Yeah, that's uh, that's basically my plan. Superior technology. Are you going to get infantry and anti tank? Uh, no. I think I will. I can get it with a fifty percent bonus in less than two hundred days. Yeah, I'm in, I'm going to maybe consider using my minus one hundred percent ahead of time on it instead, because mm -hmm. you get that from equipment three. Yeah, you do. Rudia Cravoia. Yeah. All right. But yeah, I'm trying to save uh, instead my equipment efforts for improved artillery techs. Like, I'm researching improved artillery upgrade 2 right now. Oh, okay. And it's in 90 days. Right? So, yeah, you're ahead of me then. I'm yeah. researching improved artillery upgrade 1 right now. Yeah, so, like, I, I admit I'm putting all my eggs in the artillery basket. <laughs> okay. Makes sense. Yeah. Alright. I'm actually managing to get some extra divisions out. Up until now, I've literally had only a spare division. Yeah, I still got zero manpower. 
Yeah. I got 19 divisions right now, but not all of them are super useful. Two cavalry divisions, one motorized division, so it's yeah. only really 16 in practice. I, I have eight. Like. Oh, okay. I what? You only have eight divisions? Yep. <laughs> okay, nope. then. My divisions are all filled, uh, 25 mm. things, though, okay. and are super useful, so. And I'm getting my 9, 10, and 11 right now, so. Yeah, so you went a slightly different route than me, then. <laughs> well, I only started with this many. I haven't actually built any more. Right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, what's your soft attack, then, on your template? Uh, currently, my soft attack is 1080.8. Okay. Way more than mine, then. Yeah. But I have, like, three times more divisions than you. Yeah, that's that's basically your strat. Yep. Yeah. So, I, I'm trying to be super efficient about what divisions I have. It's the best I can do. But, I mean, I'm hoping to have, like, 12 divisions, I think, by wartime, so. Makes sense. Be, yeah, I'm not going to be too far behind you in number of divisions. Yeah. My plan is to make them bigger once war actually starts. Yeah. And then I can get 16 super-powered divisions later. Yeah. There we are. The North Forts are up to level 6. I should have level 10 in all three provinces, easily. Yeah. Alright. It's too bad we have no idea what Germany's up to. Yeah, I have no clue. Yeah. Could be Danzig or War, could be an alliance with Italy. We'll find out, but it's already October. Yep. This feels a little bit strange. Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're just silently waiting to see what the German Reich's next move is. I mean, war tension is only at 31% in October 1939. Yep. That, uh, that tends to happen if Germany uh, has decided not to attack Poland so quickly. They decided instead to do the second Vienna award and get Hungary in their Axis factions. They're also not at, not just fighting a war on uh, Poland, so they are not doing Danzig or war. Yeah, Japan generated more than half of current war tension right now. Yeah, eighteen percent. Yeah, no, no one's surprised. Oh my God! What? They're going to war with the USSR? They they, they chose what? war with the USSR. That's really wait. Yeah, they they, hub, they hub the war goal on the USSR. Okay. I did not expect that. Germany, what <laughs> are you doing? Yeah, Germany has war goals against Soviet Union. What? Yeah. What the heck, Hitler? <laughs> Hitler, what are you doing? <laughs> Hitler, stop. <laughs> okay, this might be a really strange game in the end. Well, uh, that, that's a twist. No, That's no one, one scenario that. we did not expect. Yeah. And a, and a high note to end the episode on, isn't it? Yep, I think so. So, thanks for thank watching, you. everyone. And we'll see you for the next episode, where we find out what crazy Hitler does next. Yep, see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.